I'm here with Don Kenner, who's a teacher at Paintsville Independent at Paintsville, and she's got two different projects that you're doing, so you're very ambitious. Yeah. So uh, uh, t talk, tell me about the first one. Yeah, the first one is called Moving Minds, uh, and what it does is, you know, I teach health and PE, so what I wanted to do this summer when working on my classroom was, what's a way that students don't have to sit for 50 minutes, and you can also incorporate movement into it, so they're getting some physical activity. So what we did with it, um, I bought fit desks, so they're exercise bikes, so kids can actually get their exercise while also working on anything in the classroom. And if you could figure a way for them to generate electricity or oh, yes, that'd be great. <laughs> make smoothies or something like that as they're doing it too. Yeah, great. but it's a great tool because it gives them their feedback, so it shows them you know, how far they've gone, how long, and the calories that they've burned. So it's just a good way for students, you know, and a lot of kids these days, they live the sedentary lifestyles and it's yeah. all video games. So it's just a way for those who don't get the activity in the gymnasium or after school and sports to also get it in the classroom. Uh, how have they responded to this? They've loved it. And even students that I don't have in my classroom stop in and peek in and say, what is that? Because it's just not something you see every day to see this bike that actually has a desk on it so they can put their Chromebook on it or their books. Um, so I think the students have really enjoyed it. Okay. And so what's your other project? So the other one kind of coincides with it. Um, it's called kinesthetic learning. So uh, I wanted to also take movement, um, but it's more for fidgeters and students who kind of have trouble sitting still in the classroom. Um, so we've got some exercise ball chairs that students can do for the flexible seating. And then we have, it's ellipticals, but they're on the floor. So it's just for your feet. So the pa they can move the paddles under their desk. So they're still getting the movement, but they're sitting there too. So it's kind of, you know, to help kids with the movement, but also those who have trouble sitting still for the full 50 minutes. Well, and that sounds like students that have that issue, that that helps resolve that. Somewhat. Yeah, yeah, so it kind of takes care of it, and it's not really noticeable. Uh -huh. You know, they like it, and I think some teachers use them too. You know, during the planning period, you can sit there and get your exercise and do it, and also get you the feedback too. Yeah. Uh, what have you learned about these two projects, you yourself? Did things turn out the way that you thought they would? Uh, yeah, you know, at first it was an adjustment on, you know, the limited resources. We only had three chairs in a classroom of 15 students, so just trying to figure out how to rotate, you know, it's something I think in the future we'll try to get more funding for more desks because the kids all want it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why did you go into teaching? I started in teaching uh, just really to give back to the kids. You know, I coach also, so that was kind of, you know, I guess I found my calling in that just with the relationships with the kids. My husband's a teacher also. Um, so I think it's just a way to give back to our community and to kind of be a role model for the kids because I really think there's a lot of kids out there that need it. Well, Don, thank you so thank much you for so being much. on the program. What, all, what thank you, you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you.